Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. In today, classical mechanics, we are going to discuss about angular moment of Poisson brackets. We have already discussed about Poisson bracket, and the link of that lecture is given in description box, so you can read that lecture from there. Now, angular momentum Poisson brackets. So let's start our current lecture. <laughs> Here we will discuss about angular momentum Poisson brackets or the Poisson bracket involving angular momentum. If R is the position vector and T is linear momentum then angular momentum is given by since position vector R equal to x i i cap plus xj j cap plus xk k cap here xi xj and xk are the components of r along x y and z directions and the unit vector along that directions are i cap j cap and k cap in the same way if pi pj and pk are the components of p along x y and z directions respectively and angular momentum L equals to R cross P. So if we put this R here and P this one then L is equal to R cross P is given by this way. So here I cap, J cap and K cap are the unit vectors along X, Y and Z directions. X, I, X, J and X, K are the components of R along X, Y and Z directions and P, I, P, J and P, K are the components of linear momentum along respective directions. Now, if we open this determinant, then L is equal to I cap and in bracket X, J, P, K minus P, J, X, K which is written here plus J cap into X, K, P, I minus X, I, P, K which is written here and in the same way plus k cap x i p j minus x j p i which is written here if l i is the component of angular momentum along x direction l j is the component of angular momentum along y direction and l k is the component of angular momentum along z direction then this is our l i so l i equals to x j p k minus xk pj this is lj and this is lk so lj is xk pi minus xi pk and lk equals to xi pj minus xj pi now this is our li lj and lk now this li can also be written as L i equals to epsilon i j k x j p k. Thus, the Poisson brackets between any pair of the components satisfy this relation. So, the Poisson bracket of L i and L j is given by epsilon i j k x j p k. Now, we have proved it. The Poisson bracket of U and V with respect to PQ is given by this one. We have already discussed about this formula and the link of that lecture is given in description box. Now, if U is our Li and V is Lj and Q is X, then this will be Sigma N del Li by del Xn del Lj by del Pn minus del Li upon del Pn del lj upon del xn here i j k are 1 2 3 now if i is 1 j is 2 then the Poisson bracket of l1 l2 is equal to sigma n equal to 1 2 3 del l1 upon del xn del l2 upon del pn 
माइनस डेल एल वन अपॉन डेल पी एन डेल एल टू बाई डेल एक्स एन सिंस द पॉइजन प्रैकेट ऑफ एल आई इन एल जे इज इक्वल टू एक्सल आई जे के एक्स जे पी के और एल आई इज इक्वल टू दिस वन नाउ इफ यू ओपन दिस वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एन इक्वल टू वन सो इफ एन इक्वल टू वन देन डेल बाई डेल एक्स वन ऑफ एल वन डेल बाई डेल P1 of of L2 minus del by del P1 of L1 into del by del x1 of L2 and L1 is this one L2 is this one so del by del x1 of x2 P3 minus x3 P2 del by del P1 of x3 P1 minus x1 P3 minus del by del P1 of x2 P3 minus x3 P2 del by del x1 of x3 P1 minus x1 P3 in the same way. If n equals to two, then we get this relation, and if n equal to three, then equation will be this one. Now, differential of x two p three minus x three p two with respect to x one is zero. Differential of x two p three minus x three p two with respect to p one is also zero. This is zero, and this is also zero. So this is zero. This one zero. This one zero and this one zero. Now, if we discuss about this, then the differential of it with respect to x three will be minus p two, and differential of it with respect to p three is minus x one. So minus p two and minus x one. Now, differential of it with respect to p three is x two, and differential of it with respect to x three is p one. So this is P1. It means the Poisson bracket of L1 and L2 equals to minus P2 into minus X1. That is X1 P2 minus X2 P1, which is written here. So this is the Poisson bracket of L1 and L2. And X I P J minus X J P I is actually L K. Here i equals to one, j equals to two, and k equals to three. It means this is x one p two minus x two p one, which is l three. So l three is this one. It means the Poisson bracket of l one and l two is l three, or the Poisson bracket of l i l j is equal to epsilon i j k l k. Thus, the Poisson bracket of L i L i L j L j L k L k is zero. It means the Poisson bracket of same angular momentum will be zero. And the Poisson bracket of L i L j equals to L k. Poisson bracket of L j L i equals to minus L k. Poisson bracket of L j L k equals to L i. And the Poisson bracket of L K L I equal to L J. It means if we have I here, J here, and K here, then Poisson bracket of L I in L J equals to L K, which is this one. Poisson bracket of L J L K equals to L I. So L J L K equals to L I. And the Poisson bracket of L K L I equals to L J. So Poisson bracket of L K L I equals to L J. And If we reverse it, it means the Poisson bracket of L J and L I equals to minus L K. So Poisson bracket of L J L I equals to minus L K. So we can remember it by cyclic order. Here we end our session. In today's session of classical mechanics, we have discussed about Poisson bracket involving angular momentum. Goodbye.